Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at the topic what is secretly draining your energy? And this topic just popped into my head a couple of days ago. I thought, oh, that would be interesting to explore because sometimes we leak energy into the past. Sometimes our energy is going towards the future. My energy is currently going two doors down. <laughs> because of all the construction noise <laughs> and I'm like oh no I hope that doesn't appear on the recording but hey if it does I'll incorporate it into the reading so the noises this week are construction work we also have cicadas and no thunderstorms we've got bright beautiful sunshine so it's great weather here in Sydney Australia and I'm recording this a day early actually I should still be launching it on the Friday morning though so it should still appear for you guys uh, at around the same time it usually does. All right, so please feel free to choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. But before we draw these, I thought we could take an oracle card and we are going to explore the topic what is secretly draining your energy and as i mentioned in the intro it can be all kinds of things it can be you know it can be a person it can be an argument something we're worried about it can be can, our energy can even be going into the future you know it can be going into really Really positive things too but we're going to see if there's something secretly draining your energy i thought this would just be an interesting thing to explore Ooh, okay they want to be here so we'll take them take them both we've got the nine of wands Ooh, and we've got the queen of swords okay so already we have some interesting information right there i'll spread these out properly I've got my deck that I believe represents Saturn. We'll see what he has to say. These are shuffled. They are 50% upright, 50% reversed. And now this. Now I want to make sure that these are all upright. Yes. And we'll of course get some wisdom from the jar as well. So we'll start with three of these. See what comes through. All right, let's take that one. There we go. Okay, let's start over here. See what we have for Oracle cards. All right, Serendipity. Wonderful. Well, that is a four leaf clover up there. Gosh, that's beautiful. Number 18 as well. So we've got a number nine and we've got a number nine here. The nine of wands. I remember this card from last week. I drew this last week as well. But not for you guys. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Queen of Swords. Now she is keeping her eye on something. She's kind of perched herself up high and she's got her eye on something. So I think this topic so far is matching these cards really well because I do get a sense that something might be secretly draining you. Oh, how beautiful. Six of Cups. Oh, that's a wonderful card. Great. Okay. Oh, already. Already I'm seeing some things. Well, one, I'll tell you what I'm seeing already. One of the things I'm seeing is that where is she looking? she is looking at the six of cups she's looking into the past okay so perhaps there is something from your past that perhaps you haven't let go of and perhaps energetically it is still taking some of your energy it's still costing you energetically we've got the hierophant okay 
Oh my goodness, get out. We've got the Six of Cups again. Wow, two different decks. That's incredible. Okay, group one. You've got very strong energy. Whoever's here, wow, the sun. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, do you know, I really feel like I want to draw one more. Uh, why don't we? Let's take one more. What other, what other information are we going to need here? Let's take that one. All right. So these are the cards. This is it. This is all we're going to have. Let's see. This one also moved. No, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to put that there. We're going to take this one. <laughs> the one that's on the table. The Page of Swords. My goodness, get out. This is amazing. Because this is a little bit like what's going on in here. The Queen of Swords. This is incredible. All right. Well, we're getting a lot of confirmation as to what's happening here. I think what's secretly draining your energy Page of Swords comes up when you are investigating. It can come up as well when you're spying, when you're checking someone out, when you're looking. As we've got here, the lady is really looking and she's looking at the past. We've got the past come up here again with the Six of Cups. We've got the Sun. This is love and romance and Leo. It's children. It's childhood. It's happiness. It's all the best stuff. This is perhaps one of the best cards in the deck. This is the summer sun. This is, you know, this represents the happiest times of our lives. And I think perhaps one of the things that you might be doing at this time, and look at that, serendipity. And some of this isn't, some of this is quite nice because I think your energy is, is going to something yes that happened in your past we've got that confirmed twice with the six of cups so your energy is going to the past and i think it is actually something quite wonderful that happened to you in the past there's something quite wonderful that happened to you in the past i do think this is to do with love we've got the hierophant here and the hierophant is a card of tradition but it is also a card of partnership of couples of being together so i feel like your energy might be secretly being drained towards a past relationship that that made you really happy. I, I, I'm not seeing this twice. We've got two very happy cards here. Six of Cups is nostalgia. It's childhood. It's happiness. It's look at this little girl here. She was getting a gift, right? She's getting this beautiful gift, and she's she's young, and this is this is the thing that she'll remember and, and treasure all her life. This could even be representative of a good childhood or the times in childhood that you really enjoyed. Maybe you really just enjoyed being a kid before you had to have all manner of responsibility. Okay, Hierophant is also responsibility as well. I'm pretty sure Hierophant is Taurus and it's this is family. So perhaps some of your energy is secretly being drained to times in your life that, that were really good. And, and maybe you're, you keep going back there, back to the nostalgia to try to um, kind of get more juice from the moments. And it's that thing of, you know, like maybe you're eating a fruit and there's a part of the fruit, like the skin or something, like with a mango, and you know, there's only so so far you can go and you can't really eat the skin, right? So it's that, it's like you'll keep seeking the juice of something, but, but is that still there? And I'm not sure, maybe it is, maybe it is, I don't know. Let's have a look here. We've got the Nine of Wands. We've got a card that is very much about you're reaching the end of, mm, and that's why the fruit analogy came up, and that you can't eat the skin, but you keep trying to get something out of it. That's because of the Nine of Wands. You're, uh, it's, it, it, can't, it does feel like it's time to create something new. 
is one of the things I'm getting here. That it would be time to create something new. Some cycle that you've come to the, you're coming to the end of. You're coming to the end. And as I say, some of this is actually really nice. Some of this is, this is the good times. This is the, the good old days. You know, and I, I have a bit of that sometimes when I think of um, my time in advertising. Yeah, I had a lot of fun, you know, and certain friends and, you know, people that I'm not going to see again necessarily. But they were good days. And one of the things I know is that, oh, there we go, let's take these. One of the things I know is that there's new, there's new coming up on the horizon. And there's new coming up on the horizon for you as well. There is this page of swords here. And it, the other thing is that its position, I drew it last. And so this, this got drawn last, but it's the first of a brand new cycle. This is the first of you creating incredible new memories. You're going to create something magnificent going forward. And it is something new. Okay, we've got this page of swords here. I oh, will separate that a little bit because that, that is the new. Yeah, tradition, past, look at that, Hierophant, that's incredible. And serendipity, you are reflecting on some good old times that you had. And it doesn't always have to be um, times necessarily that you had. I know Caroline Mace, she talks about when she wants to feel really happy, and she feels all nostalgic. She says she puts on the music of the 60s and she just feels fantastic. And maybe, maybe, maybe you can indulge a little bit of that past energy a bit. But it, it feels like it's, there's a time limit on it, you know, and you're soon going to be creating the new. Um, you're in that in-between phase a little bit. Uh, and I think many people are at that time, at this time. All right, let's take a look what we've got here. How wonderful. I love this quote. You are not accidental. The world needs you. Without you, something will be missing in existence and nobody can replace it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think this quote is coming to say, you know, that yes, it's nice to go back in the past or spend time in the happy past or be reflecting on those kind of things. That's great. But what the world needs, while all of that's going on, the world is missing out on you. Because in the now, in the right here, right now, the world needs you. The world needs you to be doing this. This, you know, letting out your inner sunshine, giving us your creativity, your creative self-expression, who you are on the inside, you need to be giving that. And that's, that's the new, that's the new that's going to be created. Look at that, I think we're going to put these two here. Because you're going to create new things now. You're going to experience this sun again, but it is going to be different. It is going to be different. It's going to be, it's going to be something new. It's exciting. Okay, let's take a look and see what's in here. I'm liking this spread. This is really great. Like, uh, yeah, of all the things that, you know, this topic could be what is secretly draining your energy. Yeah, this is, this is quite nice. It's nice to kind of reflect on our positive past. The highest form of wealth is the ability to wake up every morning and say, I can do whatever I want today. Yeah, I love that. And I think this is what you are working towards. I think you're working towards creating this. You're coming into a phase now where you're going to be creating your personal highest form of wealth, which is going to be the ability to do whatever you want with your time. That's very much what you're coming to. Shall we take another one? Let's take another one. Because I tend to go a bit... Last time I think group number... Group number three got a lot, so I, don't, I want to make sure you guys don't miss out. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, how fantastic. This is great. 
Some talk to you in their free time and some free their time to talk to you. Learn the difference. Yep, I have had to learn the difference on this one. I know the difference, yeah. And that's, especially if you are, like this lady is looking at the past, if you're looking at a past relationship or a past love relationship or something along those lines, uh, and that person, you know, are they thinking about you? They might not be. And that's an important thing to know. This is a really important quote, especially if, uh, if you've been, if you're still kind of connected to someone from the past. Well, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to finish this reading here, but thank you so much for tuning in. I'm a bit behind on comments, everyone, but I hope to get to those this week. So if you enjoyed this reading, please do let me know in the comments below. I read all the comments. They're so helpful. They really keep this channel going. So thank you so much to those of you who comment and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Before we draw these, we're gonna take an Oracle card and draw some of the larger cards. Okay, I think we're gonna take this. Are we taking it? Let's take it. Oh, I didn't get to shuffle. Why don't we take two? The other group got two as well. <laughs> so I will shuffle as well. Try to shuffle a bit carefully so we actually get some shuffling. Now the topic that we are exploring is what is secretly draining your energy? Is there something secretly draining your energy. This occurred to me yeah, the other day. It's one of the things that uh, Caroline Mace teaches in her Anatomy of the Spirit book, which is so good. She gets you to check yourself for energy leaks. And it's such a good read, that one. Now this is my Saturn deck. And if anyone's wondering, Caroline Mace, it's M Y double S. By the way, in case anyone wants to look her up, she's really good. I'll take, I think we're taking one of these. Yep, we are. There we go. <laughs> okay. Take that one here we go all right let's see what we've got here and then we'll shuffle those so we've already got this we've got community which is lovely that's such a sweet picture number eight okay and we've got oh we've got higher power right number four excellent Oh wow, the Emperor, cool, gosh, isn't he, <laughs> that is quite a depiction of the Emperor there, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this Emperor, <laughs> normally I love the Emperor, but I'm kind of, this one I'm a little bit, ooh, okay, ah, and the tower reversed, all right, that's good in the reverse. All right, let's keep going here. Community, higher power, or the emperor. All right, let's make sure those are upright. Yes, they are. Shuffle and see what's in here. What is secretly draining your energy? Okay. Take three and then we'll see if we need more. Take that one. All right. So we've got the moon. Yeah. It's a 
really beautiful depiction of the moon there, kind of Japanese bamboo garden. It's lovely. Oh, wow, the high priestess. And I think this is one of my favorite depictions of the high priestess too. Again, we've got another moon there. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, and right, the king of coins. This one's quite interesting because I actually think one of the things that might be secretly draining your energy, it might actually be the state of the world. It might actually be what's going on out there in the collective. I get a sense that that, that might be a place where you experience stress or when you think about the world or when you think about the future this could also just be future related that you're you're perhaps a bit worried about the future what's the world going to be like what you know how are things going to be because this the depiction of this emperor <laughs> that, that is not one of the better depictions it really isn't because normally, you know, one aspires to be the emperor. You kind of want to be the emperor, but I'm looking at this going, goodness me, I'm not, I don't aspire to much of what's going on here. I, you know, and, and, and one of the things that is happening in the world is that this is not going to be cool anymore. <laughs> okay, so this amount of control over individual people this is being phased out massively and we see that okay you know we know that when it comes to community in this community here what we've got in this lovely pick a card community of ours where we love to come and hang out and you know we care about each other and and you know uh it's, it's not like this so I think, but I also think you know this. And when we look at this lovely lady here, you see she's here, her back is turned and she's reflective and she's looking at the moon. She's in this beautiful Japanese garden. This is her place of escape. This is like me going into meditation. You know, when I go into meditation, it's like I'm in a, a space or a place like this and the world can't touch me, I'm not connecting to the world, I'm not connecting to much of anything, you know, and that's a really good thing. So I think you would benefit from meditation, definitely, and withdrawing, coming within. And if it's not meditation, it is you disconnecting from the world, picking up a good book, you know, escaping into a beautiful book, escaping into beautiful stories. And look at her face. One of the things I wanted to say is that I think you're on top of this situation. I think you really know that, and I, th I think this does concern you. I think the world situation does concern you. But having said that, you know exactly how to go within, how to, how to find your happy place how to relax with a cup of tea, look at her with her cushions and her book, and she's actually quite happy. And this is a great time for all these kind of activities. This is also a great time to be just slowly, slowly building up, okay? And, and building up your energy reserves, building up your health, building up your money, sure. and. You know because the world situation is uncertain we don't know what's going on but I also feel like you're gonna be fine and I feel like you know slow and steady wins the race this isn't the time for you know big outlandish maneuvers or massive changes in direction or any of that no I think this time requires you to just keep kind of like this turtle yeah plodding along at a slow and steady sp pace keep going keep building up and the people who take advantage of this time of this time of really going within so really kind of um you know taking your eyes off the and really this kind of belongs up here 
and these because this is kind of energy that you are because the world, let's face it, the world is resisting a tower moment. You know, <laughs> that, this is the energy of the world here. And, you know, we, we would like to see a um, house of cards crumble and all this kind of thing. But I think that will happen. And I think it will happen over a period of decades. I don't see it happening in a day. And I think the world might be resisting a tower moment a little bit. But that could actually be good resistance because it might lessen the impact of some of these big things that need to change you know we don't we, we don't want to see too much uh, damage or destruction or any of that either so you know I think this does belong up here because you are connected with a higher power you very much are connected with a higher power that is looking after you that is keeping you in this uh, nice place really I think you're in a good place where you can just keep going at a slow and steady measured pace and I think you can really take advantage of this time to go within to not need the outside world too much and to find the joy the inner joy that is within you all the time it's always there there's always no matter where you are there's always access to your own love, to your own joy, to your own being, that unchanging part of you that is eternal, that's always the same and that's happy, no matter what's going on. Even when you're unhappy, there's a part of you that's, that's happy, okay, that is joyous, that, that knows it's all gonna be okay. So this is a great time to connect with that you know, and I think you're doing it. I think you're doing great is what I'm sensing. Wow, this is an interesting spread here. Yeah. A lot of people are concerned about the, the world situation. It's very, um, very natural because this is a, I mean, what a time, you know. Let's take a couple of these, see what our wisdom guides have to say. Okay, five by five rule. If it's not gonna matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes being upset about it. Oh yeah, I love that, Anonymous. This also reminds me of a quote by, gosh, what's that guy's name? He runs a channel called Surviving Narcissism. It's a really good channel, interestingly. Just as I'm saying that, we've got a police siren in the background. Anyway, he says, um, why would you spend $20 on a five cent problem? I love that. That is so clever. Like, yeah, why would you, like, why would you spend $20 of your energy on a five cent problem? It's a similar kind of thing there. So, yeah. And, and I mentioned Caroline May, she talks about these things too. And, and she talks about energy in dollar terms, which I really like. It really puts it in a perspective that we can easily understand. You can easily relate to makes the abstract less abstract okay uh, I think perfection is ugly somewhere in the things humans make I want to see scars failure disorder distortion yeah I like that Yohi Yamamoto and this is also that concept of wabi-sabi isn't it it's that Japanese concept of you know the imperfect is actually really beautiful and that's what we get to experience here on this earth plane this earth plane see up here you're in the kind of 12th house Pisces you know you're happy higher power moon right this is all beautiful we love being here we're spiritual people <laughs> this is what we like but then here the earth plane is chaos it's messy it's dirty it's imperfect it's falling apart it's desperate to control and you know all this crazy stuff but like, that's actually, interestingly, what makes this world very exciting and um, like our meaning comes from the hardships, our meaning comes from the challenges, you know. We actually want the challenge of the, the difficulties 
because we want to overcome. Like what if someone came and just waved a magic wand and made it all perfect? Well, we actually wouldn't want that. We want to overcome the challenges ourselves. We don't want someone to, isn't that interesting? We don't want someone to just magically take the challenges away from us. We want to transmute them ourselves. We want to alchemize the problem. We want to do that. We want to overcome. Guys, I think that is where we are with this group. I think two is, is the right amount here. I hope this has been a good reading for you. I've been a little bit delayed on the comments, but I'm hoping to get to those this week. But do leave me a comment if this reading resonated with you this week. I love to hear how you're doing and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what is secretly draining your energy. I'll shuffle one of these first. And then, okay, we're gonna take, <laughs> should we do it? Oh no, let's shuffle properly. This happened in group two. I didn't, I didn't get to, I think, get a good shuffle in so I want to make sure we really all right this one's poking out we'll take it okay and I'm gonna take one of these do you know what we might even take two of these because you know in the other two groups we do have four at the bottom so I think I'll take two of these this time that one and okay and that one all right and we'll take one from the Saturn deck as well see what comes through some of these are reversed this is the only deck I'm reading reversals from at the moment of yeah kind of changed gone all upright with the other ones because I thought about it and I thought do you know what there's plenty of information that comes from a 78 card deck so I've seen many readers aren't doing reversals it's kind of I don't know it feels like it's not in at the moment <laughs> all right let's take a look aha uh -huh, clean it up 21 right that's interesting I love a good cleanup. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know why, I really like cleaning. There's some kind of incredible satisfaction that comes from cleaning your space and bringing order, bringing order to chaos. I don't know, it just feels really good. So let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh, King of Cups. Gosh, that's a beautiful King of Cups, isn't it? Wow, look at that. He's got the ocean in him and the ship is like in his heart gosh that's incredible that's a great king of cups if ever there was one okay oh the devil right okay wow she looks like a spider spider with the web all right the high priestess Okay. What is secretly draining your energy? Hmm. Interesting. Let's let's draw some let's get some more information here. Now this is what needs to be all upright. Let's see. We take let's take another two this one and this one all right let's see what's going on the three of Pentacles okay the 
the nine of wands interesting i'm pretty sure we had the nine of wands in group one anyway King of Swords. Okay. Wow, Six of Wands. Well, straight away, this, as soon as I saw that, I immediately thought of this card. I'm getting a sense that if you clean something up, you're going to have some kind of, and I'm taking this as a healing. But this is a card of victory and this is the card where you ride into town you're on the horse everyone's looking at you you achieved what everyone thought you couldn't do this is that kind of energy here so i do think there is something perhaps even someone secretly draining your energy it could be I'm getting the energy of a man. I mean, that's the most obvious thing that we have here. We've got the King of Cups and we've got the King of Swords. We've got two King energies, and these are both fantastic Kings in their own ways. The King of Cups is the, is the loving, nurturing man, in the gentleman who cares, who is sophisticated and stylish, this is a wonderful king. And then we've got this incredible king here. We've got the king of swords, who is so incredibly brilliant and sharp and intelligent. And he's got authority. This could be memories uh, secretly, secretly draining your energy. This could be something connected in possibly with your father or a significant male in your life. But this could be father. This could even be authority if it's not your father. Okay, there's something here. And with the devil here, we've got, there could be some form of uh, perhaps codependence. Perhaps you're, you're dependent on, yeah, I'm getting someone being there or a man in your life or a particular man's opinion or and it could be a boyfriend it could be a lover it could be it could be kind of yeah codependent relationship in that way that perhaps you attract in men with whom there's somehow when you get together with them like a codependence forms like you can't be your full self in that relationship But I am seeing that I think this is something, and I think this is a long-standing issue. I think this is connected in, I think this is something older. I think this is connected in with your father. This is a long-standing issue. This has been something that you've been dealing with for a while. I'm trying to remember group three. Were you dealing with something long-standing last week as well? I think you were. Well, I think that has cleared, but another thing has come up, and I think it's in relation to father. And I think maybe there just needs to be some letting go or some forgiveness. It feels like with a little bit of work and not much, okay, I don't feel like there's much you need to do here, but there is. this is a work card. And this is, Three of Pentacles is work, it's teamwork, but it's also mastery. You know, uh, this is different to the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, I see as hard work but here you're really mastering something to a very fine degree and I think you're kind of mastering relationships and I think you're really working out your masculine energy masculine energies plural okay we've got the strong feminine archetype here we've got the high priestess so I think to me this is clearly about working through your masculine energies perhaps this is the kind of thing where you notice that on the right side of your body you get more aches and pains okay if that's correct then you there is you need to clean up mm, your masculine energy your masculine uh, side okay so there's something that you need to clean up there and usually it's connected in with father and usually it's about releasing some old memories to do with him or forgiving him or um, something along those lines 
So, but it doesn't feel like there's too much work. It feels like a little bit of work. It feels like a little bit of journaling about it, a little bit of meditating on it, a little bit of giving some space to this and just seeing what comes up will be enough to resolve some layer of, of what's going on here. Well, it's really interesting, group three. That's amazing. And you see, there's no need to be dependent on anyone else because all the masculine inner authority, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You are that. You are the king of cups inside. You are the king of swords. You know, you don't need it from the outside. I think that's what this devil is here for. Because with the devil, it's kind of like, it, a devil is addiction, codependence, but it's, it's depending on the outside for something that you actually have within you. You've got it. You've got, you are it. You either are it or you have it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a big concept there. But, and for that kind of thing, you can look to Lester Levinson. He's a good teacher for that. All right, let's take a look and see what quotes come through. Really keen to see what these are. Oh, how amazing. That's perfect. Very often a change of self is needed more than a change of scene. AC Benson. Yeah, there's, so, there's something within you that like you need to change. And when you change that, the energy leak will stop. Uh, you're going to be healed. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be amazing. All right. So, but it doesn't, and it doesn't feel like there's much you need to do. It's an acknowledgement. It's an acceptance. It's a forgiveness. It's a letting go. It's something along those lines. Yeah, so very often a change of self is needed more than a change of scene. Perfect. That's pretty amazing that we got that here. Uh, okay, and what do we have here? Oh, that's nice. Time you enjoy wasting was not wasted. Bertrand Russell. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. This might be needed for someone in that... Um, you might be being hard on yourself or you might be, you know, you might be being quite hard on yourself. This could be that. That might be the thing you need to let go of. You might have the inner voice that's within you. There might be a critical inner voice that's within you and it might be fatherly. It might be, you know, have you done your homework yet? Or you're spending too much time watching pick a card videos, you know? Um, there's some critical inner voice, perhaps, that you can let go of or transform, you know? You're allowed to enjoy yourself. You're allowed, you're allowed to waste time as well. Sometimes I deliberately do that. I'm just like, if I finish something, I, I just, yeah, I'll watch some mindless stuff because I need to. <laughs> Let's take another one. Uh, okay, one more. Oh, and there's one, one left for Instagram. There we go. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Imagine the best case scenario for every situation. Your mind will begin to attract solutions. And on, yeah, interestingly, I was reading Louise Hay earlier this week and I was reading about forgiveness and funnily enough, some of this work I was reading about this exact stuff. And um, she said when it comes to forgiveness, if you need to forgive someone or something like that, she says, you don't need to know how to do it. You just need to be willing to do it. And that's it. The how will be done you know, the mind will do the rest. The mind will figure it all out, will show you what to do next. If there is something, if there is an action you need to do, you'll be shown, okay? But if you're willing to forgive, if you're willing to heal, that's actually all you need. And so keep visualizing yourself healed and, you know, that I am thriving, I am healed, I am this, you know, I, I, and you've manifested this right now. You've manifested this exact card. So you are victorious. You are healed. You are whole. Keep imagining that. And then if anything isn't that, you know, it'll, it'll come up to the surface and there might be a little bit of work you need to do. But the other thing is don't let the ego fool you into thinking, oh my God, this is such a big thing. And oh my God, it's going to take me years to heal. Or, no, 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 no. 
don't don't go for that that's another ego trap recognize that the, uh, there's a little bit of work I need to do it's probably quite easy to do okay and a lot of these things they are easy and they are simple healing is easy it's simple it's free as well all right that's another important thing that you should know all right guys well thank you so much for tuning in I love doing these readings today uh, let me know how you get on in the comments below I would love to hear from you I always love reading your comments they're always so good and so motivating as well for me to keep going I love doing this work anyway but it's always great hearing that it's helping you guys out let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time